Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where you join me today here at Dick Lovett Ferrari in Swindon in the UK who have invited me to come down to talk about supercar shopping. Now inside the showroom lurking back behind me is a car that has particularly grabbed my fancy, my favourite current Ferrari model in a perfect specification. Of course we will go in to take a look at that as well as also going to the Ferrari approved showroom where they have some incredible cars at the moment in amazing specifications. There is a lot of awesome stuff to go and see. Now we're living in some strange times at the moment, not only because five minutes ago we had some very sideways rain, but thankfully it is now dry, but also because of course here in England we have the national guidelines which have closed non-essential retail businesses. Now I've had special permission to come down today with Dick Lovett Ferrari and also Ferrari UK to show a bit more of the process behind Ferrari cars. For example, how you can search for approved used Ferraris, how you can do the specification of new cars through the My Ferrari app, how you can book cars in for a service as well here, for example at Dick Lovett which is one of the Officina Classic A dealerships, but also how you can come and collect a new car as well. So let's head inside and take a look around, in particular at the car back here. Firstly, this is quite the showroom. You have the new cars followed by the approved used cars, but as you can see, the main entrance is currently closed. Entry is through the service center side, a huge workshop back here. You can also see a remarkable tailor-made F12 TDF with some very bespoke custom options. We'll take a look at that in detail later on as well. To go in, I need to grab a mask, get a temperature check, hand sanitizer, but then we can go and see the new style CI of the Ferrari showrooms and take a look at this car that I want to show you. Upon entry, we arrive at the new customer lounge, the place for customers to be greeted in a friendly and relaxed atmosphere, the bar perhaps to grab a drink, and behind it are the shelves of memorabilia. Lots to look through there, but that is the car that we're going to check out in just a moment. While we're here though, you've got the TVs playing the videos, replica model cars, the F1, the F1 steering wheel, some of the historical Ferrari books, steering wheel down there from a newer car, a lot to explore. And over to this side, we also have the F12 TDF, from Amalgam. You can get these customized to the exact specification of your car as well. And you might have just heard there's a Monza SP2 lurking outside. But here we are inside the showroom, which like I said, would currently be closed to customers. But thanks to Dick Lovett and Ferrari, it's possible to have a quick look around today to explore around here, the showroom with the new CI, the customer interface, where you have the reception desk with the large screen wall behind, playing the videos of the current models. That's the car we'll get to in a moment. Behind that wall is the Atelier, we'll have a look in there. Over here you've got another screen wall playing videos controlled by HQ. And of course we've got the two Portofinos, we've got a Dino, Pista, Pista Spider, the F8 Dributo, and then this. Look at this. The Ferrari 812 GTS, the convertible version of the 812 Superfast, in a colour called Verde Scuro, a dark metallic green which looks gorgeous. It has the airbrushed badges, the Ferrari Scuderia shields, and then the interior is in Chocolato, the brown leather that you can see with all of the carbon fiber options. You've got the satin black wheels, the carbon side skirts, the fuser parts. This is a stunning car, and I make no secret of how much I like the 812 Superfast, and of course the 812 GTS. I've been lucky enough to drive the two models a number of times, but the combination of the six and a half liter naturally aspirated V12 with 800 horsepower, the front mid-engine layout, the sound that it makes, the gloriousness of everything about it. This won't exist forever. And this, I think, is basically the perfect specification for this car. I've been looking for a dark green car in the garage. Could you imagine one of these or this car? Currently the demonstrator or car here in the showroom. But this is a stunning thing. This is absolutely stunning. So also here at the moment, we've got the Portofino, in the iconic Rosso Corsa with the crema interior, with a Daytona seat upgrade as well, the traditional configuration. We've got another Portofino in Argento Nürburgring, Nürburgring Silver. Behind that, the F8 Tributo Coupe in blue Corsa, another color that I really, really like, especially with the bright silver wheels, yellow calipers to match the yellow shields. Coming over to this side, the Dino is actually part of the Classic A program. This is in Rosso Dino, the colour the car originally launched in. Quite a, a bright orange, orange to red, I think we could say, but an almost immaculate car. Behind it, another Argento Nürburgring on the Pista Spider with the dark grey, almost black stripe, triple stripe that it has over the top. 
And then we've got the piece de coupe here. It's the Monza SP2, it's just shuffling around. This is currently in a paint color called F1 2007, Nuova F1 2007. It's a multi-layer red paintwork, but with some touches of orange. It's actually changed in recent years to be a slightly darker color, but a very nice lineup of the new cars. But let me come and show you what's in the approved section. I ventured outside for a second because I think they have basically set me up on this one. This is an 812 Superfast in Grigio Ferro, which looks spectacular. It's a Ferrari approved car, so it comes with the balance of the four years warranty and a seven years service. It also has a wheel design, which is quite an unusual option actually on the 812s, but looks spectacular. That is really, really nice. And it also has the Daytona seats as well. You can see that specific insert that it has through the backrest and the base as well. But that behind is quite a view. We'll head through there in a moment. There's a Pista Pilotti alongside a 488 Spider just tucked over to the right. But this, this is a really nice car. A couple of thousand miles on the clock. Not brand new, of course, through the approved section. But we will talk as well about what happens further down the line with Ferrari cars in terms of the maintenance. Because it's really interesting actually to see more of what they're doing with them. That sounds so good. The cold start, but the car is actually going to be headed to be taken to make a See It Now video to be shown to a customer, a big part of the remote process. So that will be taken around for, your, for a little video. And meanwhile, I will head back inside here. Feast your eyes through the pre-owned Ferraris here in the approved showroom at Dick Lovett Swindon, where we have mostly a sea of red, but there are some highlights to me that stand out. For example, that bright yellow Portofino back there. We've got a 599 GTO in Rosso Corsa with a black stripe. And then over this way, there is a spectacular pearlescent metallic orange pista. That is striking. We'll have a proper look at it shortly. One of a couple of pistas currently in the showroom here. But these are all part of the Ferrari approved package. They're all available on ferrari.com. And as we just saw with the 812 Superfast, considering it's not possible at the moment for customers to come and take a look at the cars in person, that's why the sales team can take them out to shoot a bespoke video to share the specifics of the car that the customer is interested in. Now, as part of the approved program, they come with a minimum of two years of warranty. So if it's a car that's less than two years old it comes with the balance up to the full four years from manufacturer if it's a car that's older it has two years of extended warranty one of the biggest things for me about purchasing the ferraris i've owned so firstly my ff and then more recently a gtc paulisso v12 is that they also since 2011 have included a seven-year servicing plan which makes it a very easy and pleasant ownership experience to have a ferrari during that time but they've also now added as well the option to extend the warranties. So you have a fifth year warranty, then you have the power warranty, but now beyond 12 years, you can also get the Ferrari Power 15 warranty for cars, for example, like the 360 and the 550. For example, actually, the 458 Spider, that's about a decade old now. So that will soon be available for the Power 15 warranty pack. And then when the cars get to 20 years, they can go for the Classic A certification, which if between 15 and 20 years, they've had the premium pack taken out, they get automatically as part of the maintenance that's been included. This is quite a specification. The bright yellow, the dual tone with the black roof, the yellow calipers. I've always been a big fan of the Portofinos, whether they're roof up or roof down. I think it really suits it in yellow actually as well. So that is also stunning. The dark red, maybe that's Rosso Fuoco with the painted stripes on the pista. One of a couple of pistas, as I said. If we come this way, we've actually got two 599s. The red car is the 599 GTO on a 599 using the six liter NAV12 shared with the Enzo 660 horsepower here in the red with the black stripe. A car that I think is something really, really special for the future. And next to it is the HGTE, the handling GTE package that was made available for the 599. So it came with the upgraded seat. It's got the two piece wheels, has a number of dynamic changes to the suspension and the drive, for example. What else do we have? Oh, we've got a Speciale tucked back there, the Speciale with the painted silver stripes. We've got another Pista, 812 Superfast, and also the 328 GTS. This is an eight and a half thousand mile car, also sold through the main dealer. This is a car, for example, that can go through Classic A to have its full certification but also just, just, I think, highlighting that some of the more uh, older and classic models of Ferraris can also go through the process. This, however, well, just look at it. I told you we were going to come in to see some spectacular colors and specifications today. Just look at this car. Look at this paintwork. It's called Rancho 160 160. A very, very bright metallic. You can see some of those highlights from the lights where it goes well, almost yellow, to be honest. Then it's got the painted 
dual stripe that goes through the S duct at the front. We've got the carbon fiber wheels optioned on this car as well. The scud shields on the side. The interior actually also has orange stitching. I can just make out it's got the harnesses in there too. What else do we have? The carbon fiber as well for the diffuser and those various parts. But this is powered by the 720 horsepower, 3.9 liter twin turbo V8. Obviously quite a spectacular thing, hence the existence now of the F8 Tributo to pay tribute to the V8 engine from Ferrari. We've got some lovely, lovely colors actually. Even the 812 just in the Rosso Corsa with quite a bespoke interior in here as well. Do we have an almost, well, tan colored Alcantara interior on this car? You get the point. There are some lovely, lovely examples around of cars here through Ferrari's approved program, all of which offers a very, very, very good practical route into Ferrari ownership. Quick thing, this is a Lusso V8. You can tell from the wheels. Those are the V8 wheels, whereas these cars have the V12 design, that twin spoke design. Easy way to tell the difference between the V8, the V8 Turbo, and the 6.3 litre naturally aspirated V12 variant. This is quite a room. Which would you take between, I guess, between the 509 GTO and the Orange Pista? I think that's gotta be the choice, doesn't it? I'm coming back past the GTS to show you the sneaky room hiding behind these rotating doors, the Atelier, where these are the paint samples as well, by the way. But inside here is where a customer can come to completely configure their car. Let's say it was a new Roma, for example, to try out the different seats, to see the different steering wheel options, to see some of the leathers and the wheels, and to go through all of the samples to assemble and create the exact specification for the car to arrive in future. And another very special thing is that when you order a Ferrari along the way, it goes into the My Ferrari app, so you can see the pictures of the manufacturing process. You get various gifts along the way, a model car, for example. You get the key holder box, various things that just make that whole experience even more exciting than otherwise. So ultimately, maybe receiving a car like this. And I'm just standing here mind blown by this 812 GTS. Verde Scuro is not a color I had heard of before today, but seeing it, it's stunning. And yes, we're certainly in a phase at the moment where green cars are definitely in. Like for example, 10 years ago, white cars were certainly a thing. But this, the green with the chocolate interior is not something I necessarily would have thought about before, but it suits the GTS so well. Imagine cruising this 800 horsepower, roof down, screaming V12, just a heavenly, heavenly experience to even think about, to be honest. I loved driving the 812 GTS. And I think that is, well, probably, I think I can confidently say my favorite current series production car on the market. In production at the moment, this is, this is just breathtaking. I also said I would come and show you this F12 TDF, ready to be picked up from a service. And of course the services can now be booked in directly through the MyFerrari app as well to have the car arranged so it can be dropped off following the guidelines. But this car has a lot of tailor-made options. For example, the painted yellow stripe across the front, the pure silver paintwork itself in fact, it's got the airbrushed Scuderia shields on the side. Even the seats, by the way, are finished in a material the same that was used in the past back on Formula One cars for the seats back a few decades ago. This car, of course, also has the full carbon fiber options. We can hear the workshop in the background. It's got the satin wheels. I've always been a big fan of this wheel design. Even the carbon fiber center caps that it has too. The TDF, 780 horsepower, game-changing car, one of 799. Something, again, very, very special. That seems to be the word of the day, really, doesn't it? Just spectacular and special cars all around, including this in the handover bay here, where customers would also, of course, be able to collect their brand new Ferraris, especially using the click and collect system that's now available too. I just had to come back in and take another quick look at this car. It's not a color scheme I would have gone for originally, but seeing it is just something else. This car will be on the fleet here with Dick Lovett for a couple of months, but could you imagine well, either that or potentially ordering one in the same color scheme. I'm completely enamored by it. Standing here, looking at the Verde Scuro 812 GTS. Mind is blown at this car. What a thing. The day is quickly going by, winter time and shorter days after all, but a big thank you to Ferrari UK and of course to Dick Lovett Ferrari in Swindon for the invitation to come down and share some of Ferrari's current processes with you. Now I would love to be doing a click and collect of my own and driving away with this stunner sitting back there, that green GTS, but alas, I'll need to save up a few more pennies first. For now, I will go to bed tonight dreaming of that. Maybe one day it might happen. I've also just spotted the silhouette of the Monza sitting up top at the moment, but a 
great visit, a fantastic opportunity to be able to see the new style of the showrooms here with Ferrari, to understand more of the My Ferrari app. I advise and recommend all customers to give that a go. I signed up myself and I was able to see the build pictures of my GTC Fall so when it was going down the assembly line, because it's of course linked to the VIN number of the car when you've had the relationship with the dealer for servicing or the purchase, but also some more of the process. The servicing and workshop is operating as normal. The approved used cars are very much available too, all through the different features we've spoken about. So a big thanks again to Ferrari. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Some more information and details and links will be down below, but that is it for this time. Thanks as always guys, and I'll see you very soon. Cheers.